Well, hello, traders and investors. I'm Ali Little, and this is your daily Neo TA wrap. We take a look at these markets. We're doing it from a neoclassical perspective, meaning each time we look at the markets, ask ourselves what happened today, what does it tell us about the coming days? We do that through supply and demand on the charts. Do it on a daily basis, weekly basis. You can do it on any time frame. The neoclassical model works any time frame you want. You just have to learn the few concepts that are in it and uh, apply it. And, of course, it helps to have experience and to have uh, worked with it and uh, worked with the markets in general for some period of time. And that's the sort of thing that comes over time, right? But first, got to start somewhere, and that is you have to learn a model and then apply that model and apply it religiously. Keep your risk-reward in your favor and use the trend. The quality of the trend is your friend. As far as uh, what happened today, let's take a look at the markets here. Uh, if we go and look at the uh, ending numbers, uh, TLT actually bounced back from yesterday. Actually, you had a reversal, basically, of what took place yesterday. Uh, you had gold, silver up, bonds up, and you had the markets in general trying to push down. Uh, over in Europe, it was mixed. If we look at the, um, uh, the HSI, the uh, Nikkei, those were up, but uh, slightly, and you had markets trying to pull back here and last night you know I pretty much said that's what we should expect we should expect these markets to try and pull back tonight or actually today and looking at the charts here we'll see if that's true for tomorrow so let's uh, dive into that and see what they look like so the S&P 500 so what did you end up with today you actually ended up with an over and under after an extended move now the the thing is is here we actually had a situation where the market rested. And so, so we've had this move up, right, that was extended, right, got the rest, right, and now we're getting the extension again. So it's not a two bar, but it is an over under, and it's a doji, and it's at the highs, and it's on lower volume. So it's got everything, all the characteristics to say it's going to try and pull back. Tomorrow you got the British uh, BOE coming out uh, with whatever their decision is going to be. I expect the. Uh, retest regen to fire here pretty soon we're three bars into the move on the breakout and uh, usually uh, you get it within six so we'll see if that's the way it ends up here so that's the s p 500 if we move over look at the nasdaq you have pretty much the same situation here you got an over under you got less volume same setup as you just saw there extended extended move over unders not two bars folks because you don't have the straight up move without any kind of a pause if we move to the NDX, you, here you've got the same situation as well. Finally, if we move to the Russell, slightly different situation on the Russell. Uh, the Russell actually is an inside bar, has the same characteristics, but you didn't actually get over and under, so slightly different. Three out of four. Uh, if you look at the three out of four, that says you're going to try and get a pullback tomorrow. And as I said, BOE in the morning. Folks, if there's any kind of a setup here, the setup is for some sort of a pullback off the news on the BOE. Everybody's already priced in uh, some sort of a major cut, uh, more QE, something big. If the BOE comes in anywhere short of that, you're going to see some selling as a result of it. And it's probably going to spread across these markets. So uh, if that's what takes place, right, then you'll get the pullback question is is do you want to buy the pullback I told members today what I thought um, and I'll share it here uh, probably uh, in the next day or two or, or maybe on the weekly broadcast on Sunday uh, again uh, you know if you're a member you get the inside information just like you do anywhere else uh, if you're not uh, then I give you a good feel for what's happening but I'm not going to give you all the specifics um, you know that I have to uh, share with members or that I choose to share with members I should say uh, if we look elsewhere, you know, I, I was going to look at the sectors, um, and I haven't gone through these charts tonight. I was pretty busy today. Uh, let me just pop into a few of these that have been strong and see what these look like. And so if I look here at the SOX, also an over-under. Uh, the XLB had a nice big move. Let's see what it did today. Uh, that one's inside day, so nothing there. The financials also big move. Financials. Now we got some odd number here. We'll have to get that cleaned up, but uh, that's an over and under two as well, probably. Uh, the volume yesterday was heavier than it was today, uh, even though we've got a, a bad quote there uh, on the volume. Uh, let's see what the XLI looks like. Uh, that one actually held over it. That's been one of the stronger groups. XLK, 
uh, same thing, right? So you're, you're seeing it across the board here. And, and what that tells me is that we're set up for a pullback. So expect some sort of a pullback tomorrow as a result of these moves. I don't really even need to look anywhere else. I think I'm, I've already been told enough just looking at these two things. Uh, sometimes you can see enough on a couple of charts uh, to tell you what's happening. So I'll leave it there tonight, and uh, thank you for joining me. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Good night.